Now I've already talked about what z-scores are, so now I have two extra problems to help people understand a little bit more about the concept. So here's the first problem. In the United States, the average IQ is 100 with a standard deviation of 15. What percentage of the population would you expect to have an IQ lower than 85? So first of all, this is what the distribution looks like. We have 100 in the middle, which is the mean, and a standard deviation of 15. So there are 15 degree jumps, like 100, 115, 130. And what I'm trying to ask is, what would you expect to have an IQ lower than 85? Basically, what would you expect this blue area to be? So our first step is to calculate a z-score like this, where 85 is our x, 100 is our mu, which is our population mean, and 15 is our population standard deviation. So when I plug those things into the equation, I get a z-score of negative 1. Basically what that means is that the score of 85 is one standard deviation below the mean. So I'm going to mark that right there. The score of 85 is associated with the z-score of negative 1. So now that we have the z-score of negative 1, we can look up, a, look up the score in a z-table to find out what area is associated with the blue area. So I'm going to go back to my big z-table, which is, it looks kind of confusing, but I have talked about it before. So if you don't understand exactly what I'm doing, you can go back to one of the previous lectures on z-scores. But basically what I'm going to do is look up the z of 1. And when I look up the z of 1, I find out that the area in the body is 0.8413, which is about 84%. So what that means is the area in the body is 0.84.13. Now what we want is the area in the tail, which is a smaller portion. So realize we can just do 1 minus 0.8413, and we find out that the area in the tail is 0.1587. So the percentage that we would expect to have an IQ lower than 85 is about 16%. Now let's say I made the question a little bit harder. It's still, you know, we're in the United States, the average IQ is 100, and the standard deviation is 15. So now the question is, what percentage of the population would you expect to have an IQ between 90 and 120? So now I'm asking you this question. The blue shaded area is the area between 90 and 120, or at least it should be. It's, it's close enough in my picture. So we have the Z equation, and we're going to need to calculate Z for both 90 and 120. So in the first one, it's just 90 minus 100 divided by 15. I get negative 0.66. And for the second one, it's 120 minus 100 divided by 15. I get 1.33. So the score of 90 is 0.66 standard deviations below the mean. And the score of 120 is 1.33 standard deviations above the mean. So now you can see those two scores are associated with 90 and 120. So now that we know those two z-scores, we can look them up in the table. So for the z-score of 0.66, we get an area in the body of 0.754. And for the z-score of 1.33, we get the area in the body of 0.9082. So that's about 75% and 91%, right? Well, we know that that is the area in the body. So let me draw that on the graph represented by those two red double-sided arrows. So for, point, so for negative 0.66, you can see that the area in the body, the area in the larger portion, is 74.54%. And for 1.33, the area in its body, in its larger portion, is 90.82%. Now remember that we want to find the area that's in the blue shaded area. So how can we do that? Well, first of all, let me draw these green lines here. What they show is what isn't covered by the areas that we already know about. Like, for example, for 0.66, if the area in the body is 74.54, then the area in the tail is whatever is left over of that 100%. It's 25.46. So we've got a lot going on here so far. I'm trying to make this one as complicated as possible. So if you can understand what I'm doing now, you should be good with all of the different concepts that there are for z-scores. So now that we have this, we know that 25.46% is in one tail, and we know that 9.18% is in the other tail. The part that's left over in the middle is 65.36%. So basically, what percentage of the population would you expect to have an IQ between 90 and 120? We would expect approximately, or well, almost exactly, 65.36% of the population to have an IQ between 90 and 120. And that's how you would answer a question like that, using z-scores.